Hey guys and welcome back to my F1 2012 career mode. Today we have round 13 of season 1 and we head to the Italian Grand Prix at Monza, the Temple of Speed. It is my team's home race. Of course we're driving for Scuderia Toro Rosso, previously known as Minardi before they got bought out by Red Bull. And we're looking to get back into the points. Last time out at Spa, although it was a crazy race with lots happening, we unfortunately did not score any points. We had two penalties. I think we had to go through and have three pit stops. We switched from the dries to the inters to the wets, back to the inters again at the end. It was a crazy race. And we saw a safety car as well. Hopefully, we perform better here today. Just before we get into this one, make sure to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. And let's jump into this round. Race information for Monza. Qualify 14th, race to 11th place. That's more realistic for what the car is. Uh, it's still going to be quite tough. Teammate challenge, it's it's not looking good. I'll be honest, it's not looking good at all. I don't even know if we have enough races to be able to beat Ricardo, the teammate challenge, unless I start scoring loads of points. We'll just see how that one goes. Uh, do we actually have a rival yet? I don't know. The rival challenge, when do we actually get to choose one? I don't know if we get to choose one yet or it just gives me one. It doesn't seem to show that we have one. But these are the championship standings going into round 13. And Ferrari will be very happy with this because their man, Fernando Alonso, leads the way at the top of the table. Head of Vettel. Then it's the two McLarens. Then it's Mark Webber, the three-time world champion in my Codemasters career mode series. Of course, he won all three championships on F1 2010. But he's a distance off the top this season, that's for sure. We are very close to my teammate. We're in 18th place, right behind Daniel Ricciardo, who's in 17th. He's only two points ahead of me. Of course, we replace Jean-Eric Verne, who has 16 points to his name. That'll be the first objective to beat him in the championship. On to the constructors. We're in ninth place, but I think we are in the battle for seventh if I can hook some good races together, which I'm confident I can do. And Red Bull have a slender lead over Vodafone, McLaren and Mercedes. Let's jump in to qualifying. Oh, here we go. This is the teammate challenge. It's just shown me it. Nico Hulkenberg is my challenge man. Challenge man? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we could choose. I see. Right, we could either choose Heike Kovalainen, and Bruno Senna or Nico Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg, Force India is the best car out of the three. So, of course, we'll choose Nico Hulkenberg. He's scored 12 points in 12 races. We've scored four points in 12 races as well. But really, four points in two races. Uh, I think we can beat him. It's going to be a good challenge. Right, now we get into qualifying. Here we go then. It is slightly overcast conditions for the qualifying session today. And we are raring to go. 14th or above then, that's the objective. So we have to get through to Q2. I've uh, done my car setup and I've put the gear ratio as long as possible. So with the RS Curs and Slipstream, we reach a ridiculous top speed. You'll just see. You'll just see as we go down the main straight. There we go then. Let's go for a qualifying lap here at Monza. Oh, and we go straight off the track at turn one or turn two. Okay, that lap's gone. Ricardo, fastest right now. Now I'm going to begin my real first lap. Oh, I've just locked up. I. Yeah, okay, that lap's gone as well. It's not looking good. It's not looking good, guys. I'm going to have to use a, sec a second set of tyres already. And I've not even got a representative lap time on the board. What is this game? Oh, my God. Okay, this run's done as well because we've hit my teammate, apparently. Okay. A third set of tyres. Please just allow me to get a lap on the board. It's happened again! I What is going on? Right, okay. This run's done as well. And the repair time is three minutes. Okay, guys. We're starting last for this race. we got two minutes. Two minutes. Go, 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 go. It's, it's, oh, my God. Why is there just so much traffic everywhere? Okay, we've got one, one lap. That's it. It wasn't even a good lap, but it's the only lap I can get on the board. And up towards the line, we're going to be out in Q1. I can't believe that. I really cannot believe that. Every single run, something went wrong, and we're out in P18. It's, what, eight tenths behind Bruno Senna in 17th? There's loads of time I could have gained. It's just, I, I could not get the lap together. Things just kept going wrong. Hulkenberg in 13th, my teammates 16th. They're both through, and I once again exit in Q1. The race has to be better. We can't keep having bad results over and over again. No objective is 16th, I think, or above for the race. 
I'm still aiming for points. I really feel like I can still get points in whatever race. 27 lap race, it'll be the shortest of the year in terms of time taken, unless there's safety cars, which I highly doubt will happen. Alonso, the championship leader on pole position, ahead of Sebastian Vettel. Then we have Michael Schumacher up in third alongside Perez. Hamilton and Button, the two McLarens on row three. Then it's Raikkonen, Weber, Kobayashi and Nico Rosberg rounding out the top 10. In the midfield, we have Paul de Resta in, of course, the Force India, one of our rivals. Grosjean, Ricardo up in 13th, ahead of Senna. Maldonado, Massa and my rival. Hulkenberg starts 17th place. I start 18th. And then we have the usual suspects at the back of the grid. Heike Kovalainen all the way down in 24th. He won't be happy with his performance. So we're starting on the option tyres, going to lap 12 for the primes, and then going all the way to lap 27 to complete this race, hopefully in the top 10 position. Actually, I'm going to switch around. I want to start in the primes. I want to have the option stint at the end. Primes to lap 15, then the options, and then we race to the end. Well, there's only one more thing to do, and that's go racing. The 2012 Italian Grand Prix is next. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is it. It's such a long run down towards turn one. There is going to be chances here on lap one. The lights are on, and we are underway here. For the Italian Grand Prix. We're going to dump the curves already. To hopefully pull alongside at least Nico Hulkenberg on the run down to turn one. Which I don't think is going to happen. Already putting the brakes to the rear. Always have to do that now. Oh, there's no space on the inside, is there? Can we feather our car through the middle between Massa and Hulkenberg? Yes, we can. And that's already me up a couple of places on where I started. Ahead of my championship rival as well. Oh, and Senna lifting off through the curve of Grande. Maybe we can... Get a run on the Williams. He's not leaving me any space. What's he doing? Watch the, when you're watch the aggression. That wasn't me. That wasn't my fault. Trying to get past the Williams. They are one of my championship rivals as well. I forced him wide. Am I going to get a penalty? Hopefully not. It seems fair racing. Well, oh, Rosberg and Maldonado going at it. We can get a run on the Mercedes here. I put it in rich mix. Getting the slipstream down towards Parabolica. Oh, I've double geared somehow. Might just be able to dart to the inside under braking. Not close enough. Oh, it's contact between Rosberg and Maldonado. They're going at it again on lap two here. And Rosberg lifting off. We'll get a run around the outside of Curva Grande. We go. And we move ahead of the Mercedes into 14th place. Oh, Rosberg trying to get a run around the outside. On the run down towards the Ascari chicane. Oh, I've got the inside line so I can cover that off. Okay. Nice one, Maldonado. I think Kobayashi lifted off. And we're going to overtake both of them. Up into 12th. We're getting close to the points already. Both Toro Rosso is working really well here. My teammate Ricardo is just overtaking Grosjean. And he's up into the points now. There we go. The run on Roman Grosjean. I'll pick this side now for Curva Grande. We'll have the outside line for the Della Roger chicane. We should be ahead into the braking zone. And we are. And now we are one step away from a point. Perez and Ricardo struggling on the exit. The first chicane. I might have a run on my teammate, and I do. Maybe a run on... I'll just dump the uh, the uh, Kurs. Go around the outside of Perez through Curva Grande. And we're up into ninth place. Might struggle to stay ahead of Perez here, though, because I do not have any Kurs to use, and I do not have DRS. And here goes the Sauber to the outside to retake that place. Oh, what a run I've got there. Next of Ascari on the run down now towards the Parabolica. It's the Sauber and Toro Rosso side by side. Here comes Ricardo. Both Toro Rosso's moving up into the points. Okay, you'll notice on the minimap, I am leading a train of cars that pretty much goes down to about 18th place. Oh, Ricardo's got a run here. And he, I don't want to dump all my curves now because I want to save it for the rest of the lap. But he's got a DRS and he's going to the outside. You don't want to be on the outside into turn one, though. So I've got that like, inside line and I'll defend. Oh, there's... there's this car off there. That's Alonso. That's distracted me. I th Alonso's out of the race. Oh, there's Maldonado. Oh, Maldonado. He's got such a good run. Oh, contact. I, th I think somebody's lost something. Maybe not. Maldonado goes through up into eighth place. We'll try and fight this back. Dump all the curves on the exit of the first chicane. Towards Curva Grande, my favorite overtaking spot. Pull side by side with the Williams. He sees me coming. And now, who breaks latest into the Della Roja chicane? It's going to be Maldonado. I'm still on the inside, mate. Oh, contact again. I forced it wide. Oh, I've got a penalty. Of course I've got a penalty. Oh, got this game. Oh, he's just gone straight past me. Oh, my God. 
this game. It's infuriating. I know it's not the game's fault. It's my fault. I just can't race wheel to wheel. <laughs> One of those drivers. If it's not a very easy pass with slipstream and DRS, I just can't do it. I don't want a box yet. Oh my god. Now we've got Ricardo side by side down the main straight. I was hoping I was going to stay close enough to uh, overtake Maldonado into the first corner, but I'm just too far back. Perez now overtaking Ricardo. Okay, I'll serve my drive through this lap. I'm tumbling down the order now. There goes Perez. I'm down to 10th. Now Daniel Ricardo looking to move past as well. We've got a run on Perez now. I am boxing. I need to serve a drive through, mate. Can, uh, can they let Sergio know that over the radio, please? Sergio, what are you doing, mate? Come on. I'm tr I, I need to go to the pits. Oh, bloody hell. Right, let's serve this drive through. You lose so much time with the drive through here as well because everybody's going past at full speed. I'm going to rejoin behind Petrov and I'm in 18th place. Oh, somebody's lost a wing at turn one. That's good news for me. And it's Massa. Felipe Massa's the one going slowly. We'll move round the outside through the first Lesmo to move up to 17th. This should be an easy move on uh, Vitaly Petrov for 16th place. And we've got it done before the DRS zone even opens. There's drivers in the pits on lap 12. They'll be the drivers who started on the options. Oh my god. I just completely forgot to drive because I was trying to commentate. Okay, we'll move past a couple of them at least, including my teammate. So we're kind of back up to where we were before we had the penalty. We've got a run on Roman Grosjean. I've overtaken him once today already. His teammate, Kimi Raikkonen, he's out in the lead right now. As we swoop around the outside of Romain Grosjean. And more drivers in the pits. Should almost be back into the points. I think we will be back into the points here. If we break for turn one, maybe we can get the outside on Perez as well. Lovely stuff. And Daniel Ricciardo retiring from the race. We've had three retirements now. So we start lap 15, so we're boxing at the end of this one. The tyres aren't even worn, uh, but I'd still rather be on the quicker compound. And we'll box from ninth place in this race for our one and only stop. Moving on to the option tyres. In we go. No change of the front wing, though. Going to keep the uh, the slightly broken front wing. And we're going to rejoin here into 14th place in the race. 27.3. That's almost a second quicker than my previous best in this race. And we're closing on Nico Rosberg, who's the next driver up the road. I feel like I'm playing F1 Challenge. When I play F1 Challenge at the Italian Grand Prix at this circuit... You can never make time up on the AI because there's so little amount of corners. No, I'm not catching at all now. For some reason, they're just picking up the pace. I thought running the options at the end of the race would be beneficial to me, but apparently I was faster than them, well, relative to the AI, on the primes. That penalty, once again, has absolutely destroyed my race. It's the second race running where the penalties have been the downfall. Uh, yeah, Rosberg's just actually pulling away from me now. Uh, by about a second a lap. Even though I'm not dropping down on time. They're just going quicker and quicker. I'm lapping in the 126s. Actually, the gap to the rester is 8.9. That's coming down. Okay, for some reason, they've all started dropping off the pace now. And I'm catching. There's still about five laps to go. Okay, caught by about four seconds on the rester on that lap. So, potentially, with four laps to go, we could make a few positions up. Oh, the rest has got brake issues. I did not know that was a feature. So... That's why. That's why I'm catching quickly. And here we go. We've got a run on Deresta down the main straight. We'll have DRS as well to make this a slightly easier overtake. Deresta still thinks about defending. But we've moved past him. Starting the final lap then. 10 seconds to Hulkenberg ahead. It's not going to happen. Kimi Raikkonen though on the verge of a victory here for Lotus. That is big. As we're rounding the final corner for the final time. It's once again a tale of what could have been in this race. If not for that clumsy move on Maldonado which resulted in the penalty but we'll cross the line in 13th place. Raikkonen wins here today ahead of Michael Schumacher that is a very strange one too with Jensen Button completing the podium Mark Webber just missing out there Hamilton fastest lap on the final lap at 25.004 ahead of Sebastian Vettel Maldonado and center scoring big points for Williams which is not a good thing to see as they're one of our rivals for that seventh place in the constructors. Perez and Kimui Kobayashi both Sauber's in the points as well. Rosberg misses out, so does his compatriot Nico Hulkenberg. And unfortunately, I finished down in 13th place. I'd say take away 18 seconds if I was to not have that drive-through penalty. So 
I should have been around... Yeah, we should have been in the points. I, we should have been, uh, but we weren't. There was three DNFs as well, including my teammate Daniel Ricciardo, Roman Grosjean, and Fernando Alonso. Alonso's lead remains intact in the championship because Sebastian Vettel could only manage a sixth place finish here today. Button's podium jumps him up ahead of his teammate Lewis Hamilton again. Mark Webber now only 46 points off the championship lead. Michael Schumacher will be happy to see his points tally rise towards the 100 point mark. And Kimi Raikkonen's victory today sees him solidly in seventh place ahead of his teammate Roman Grosjean. Uh, further down we have Pastor Maldonado, 10th place. He's tied with both Kobayashi and Perez and his teammate, where is his teammate? Bruno Senna is now ahead of me as well. So I'm down to 19th place. Oh, it's just, it's a really, it's a disaster class of a weekend yet again. Okay, what rumours been circulating in the paddock that Toro Rosso's James Early is looking at moving teams next year? Excuse me, what? Surely we haven't got a contract offer. <laughs> We've got... <laughs> We've got a contract offer from both HRT and Marussia to be the number one driver at HRT. We've just come from there. Uh, <laughs> and the number two driver at Marussia. Uh, yeah, guys, I'll pass on that one. I don't really want to go backwards again. Thank you very much for watching this one, everybody. I don't know how we got contract offers from that disappointing race. We should have scored points again. Once again, I've messed up. We've, it was wrong in qualifying. It was wrong in the race. It was going well in the race until it went wrong. Uh, I just can't race wheel to wheel. I clearly cannot race wheel to wheel. Uh, this is not the first time I've had an incident with Maldonado that's resulted in a penalty this season. It's happened again. Singapore will be the next race. I'm hoping lots of AI crash in Singapore and I can get some points. We scored points for Marussia in 2011 at the Singapore Grand Prix. So maybe we can score points here in the Toro Rosso. Thanks for watching. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.